Hello everyone! For this video, magsasolve tayo ng differential equation ng linear coefficients in two variables. We have to obtain the general solution for the differential equation given x plus y minus 4 dx minus x minus y plus 2 dy is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, the operation between our m and our n is subtraction. Kaya baguhin muna natin siya para maayos natin yung form. So, this will become x plus y minus 4 dx. And then, for this part, baguhin natin yung sign. And then, yung mga nasa loob ay balikta rin natin. So, this becomes addition. Ito ay naging negative x plus y minus 2. Now, we are in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. And then, yung form nito, this is a linear equation. This is also a linear equation. Now, let us separate. We have our linear equations. Ito, ito yung equation 1 natin. And then, ito naman, this is our equation 2. For our second step, we have to solve for the intersection nitong dalawang linear equations natin. To do that, we have our intersection hk. Ang gagawin natin, kukunin muna natin si equation 1. And then, let us solve for the value of x. Kasi magsa-substitution tayo. Ilipat lang natin si y sa kabila. And then, same goes with 4. Kaya this becomes x minus y plus 4. Then, meron na tayong value ng x, proceed tayo sa ating equation 2. Since this is negative x, substitute natin yung value ng negative y plus 4 dun sa x natin. Kaya ito ay naging negative, negative y plus 4 plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we simplify. This becomes positive y minus 4 plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Solving for the value of y, this is y plus y, kaya siya ay naging 2y. Ito naman ay negative 4 minus 2, this becomes negative 6. Paglipat sa kabila, this becomes positive 6. And then, multiplying both sides of our equation by 1 over 2, y is equal to 3. Ngayon, gamitin natin itong equation natin for x para makuha natin yung value niya. Let us substitute yung y natin na 3 dito kay negative y dito. Kaya ito ay naging negative 3 plus 4. The value of our x is positive 1. Then, h is the x-coordinate of our intersection, k is the y-coordinate of our intersection, then our h, k is just equal to 1 and then 3. Ito na yung intersection natin, ito yung tatrabawuhin natin for our next step. Now we have our intersection, what we will be doing is we will be letting x, yung value ng x is equal to introducing a new variable u, tapos i-add natin yung h. And then yung y is equal to v ulit, another variable, plus k. Kaya this is equal to x is equal to u. Ang h natin is 1, so u plus 1. And then y is equal to v plus k. Ang k natin is 3, kaya ito ay naging v plus 3. Taking their derivative, so this is x. Ang derivative niya ay dx, and then ito ay du. Yung 1 naman natin is constant, kaya that is equal to 0. Then dy is equal to dv. Ay, nakuha na natin yung value ni x ni y, ni dx, saka ni dy. Balikan natin yung ating equation. This is our linear equation. Then, substituting the values, we have yung x ay naging u plus 1. And then, yung y ay naging v plus 3. So, eto siya. And then, minus 4. Yung dx natin ay naging du. And this is negative x. So, this is negative. x is u plus 1. Negative u plus 1. Plus y is v plus 3. And then, minus 2, yung dy is naging dv. Then, we simplify. Kung mapansin nyo, this is 1 plus 3. So, this is 4 minus 4. Kaya mawawala na yung constant part dito. Ang natira ay si u plus v and then times du. For this part, this becomes negative u. Tapos, eto ay magiging negative 1. So, negative 1 plus 3, that is 2 minus 2. That is also equal to 0. Ang matitira ay si negative u and then si positive v. And that is multiplied to dv. Now, we are done with our third step. Tignan natin yung ating equation. This is u. This is degree 1. v is also degree 1. Negative u. This is degree 1. And v is also degree 1. Now, we arrive at a homogeneous equation. Ngayon, para masolve si homogeneous equation, we pick yung m natin for this part. Once we do that, ang gagawin natin is I will be letting u be equal to mv. Remember, this is a homogeneous at ang variables na concern ay u at v. This is a function of u and v. 
Kaya nag-introduce tayo ng panibagong variable natin na m. So, this is equal to u is equal to mv, getting its derivative, du is equal to product rule of differentiation, m dv plus v dm. Then, isubstitute na natin siya dito. So, yung u natin naging mv, si v is retain, and then si du naging mdv plus v dm, and then si negative u naging negative mv plus v times dv is equal to Zero. Medyo mahaba lang siya kasi galing tayo kay linear equations, kinuha natin yung intersection, tapos naging homogeneous siya. And then kapag ka-homogeneous na siya, later on this will become separable, kaya we have to bear with this process. Ngayon, working here, simplify natin siya. We have our mv plus v multiply mv times mdv. This becomes m squared vdv and then yung susunod, mv times v dm, yung v natin ay magiging square, so this is mv square dm, next v times mdv, this is mv dv, v times v dm, so magiging v squared dm, tapos na tayo dito sa part na to, lipat tayo sa kabila, so this is just negative mv times dv, this is negative mv dv, plus v dv is equal to 0. Then, kung mapansin natin, meron tayong mvdv tsaka negative mvdv. So, this part will become 0. Mawawala na siya. Then, pag samahin natin lahat ng merong dv, we have our m squared vdv and then we have our vdv here. Tapos, for dm, we have mv squared dm and then v squared dm all equal to 0. Ngayon, trabawuhin na natin na maging separable yung ating equation. Kuhanin natin yung common terms. For this part, common si v and then si dv. Factor out natin si v dv. So, ang natira sa loob ay si m squared. Dito ay naging 1 na lang siya. So, v times m squared plus 1 dv. Sa kabila naman, ang common natin is si v squared tsaka si dm. Ang natira sa loob ay si m plus 1. Then, to make this separable, kailangan lahat ng kasama ni dv ay function of v. So, kailangan natin tanggalin to. Yung kasama ni dm ay function of m, so ang tatanggalin natin ay si v squared. To do that, let us multiply our equation by 1 all over m squared plus 1 times v squared. Once we do that, mawawala si m squared plus 1 dito sa ating first term. So, mawawala siya. And then, ang matitira ay si v all over v squared. That is just equal to 1 over v times dv. That is dv all over v. For this part, ang mawawala naman ay si v squared. Kaya ang natira ay si m plus 1 all over m squared plus 1 times dm that is equal to 0. Now, our solution is separable kasi this is a function of v, this is a function of m. So, we take the integral of the whole equation. Integral of dv over v plus integral of m plus 1 all over m squared plus 1 dm is equal to 0. Ngayon, makakapag-solve na tayo ng solution. Eto, wala tayong problema kasi ln lang to. Ihiwalay natin yung terms. So, etong part na to. So, m all over m squared plus 1 dm. So, this becomes m dm all over m squared plus 1. Plus, eto namang nasa kabila. We have our 1 times dm. So, dm all over m squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we take the integral. For this part, mapansin natin, we have our m squared plus 1 sa denominator. Its derivative is 2 m dm. Kaso, ang meron lang tayo sa numerator ay m dm. Para madala natin siya to ln. And then for this part, eto naman, kaya natin siyang gawin using integration leading to inverse trigonometric function. So working here, kailangan natin ng 2 dito, this will become 2 mdm dahil naglagay tayo ng 2 dito, maglalagay tayo ng 1 half dito sa labas ng ating integration. Kasi 1 half times 2, that is this equal to 1. Kaya mabalik tayo dito sa initial term natin. And then for this part, it will lead to inverse trigonometric function, specifically arctan. Now, getting their integral, this is ln of v plus 1 half ln nung m squared plus 1 kasi yung nasa taas is direct derivative nung nasa denominator plus eto naman will lead to arctan of m is equal to etong part, yung arbitrary constant natin will just become ln of c. Kasi the ln of any constant is still a constant. Ngayon, tapos na tayo sa ating integration process. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos sa ating solution kasi kailangan pa natin siyang i-simplify. So to simplify, the rest of the process natin ay simplification process na lang. Now, ilipat muna natin yung part ng arcta ng m sa kabila. And then tong ln of c, nilipat ko sa kabila, I made it positive still kasi 
the negative of a constant is still a constant. Kaya retain si ln of c, then lahat ng part na to ay nasa ln na. So simplify further, yung one half natin, tanggalin muna natin siya, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 2. So this becomes 2 ln v plus, eto naging ln of m squared plus 1 na lang, plus ln of c pa rin. So hindi ko pa rin ginalaw si constant, this becomes negative 2 arctan of m. And then, applying power rule of logarithm, para mawala tong to dito, gagawin ko siyang exponent ni v. So, this becomes ln of v squared and then the rest retained. And then, kung mapapansin natin, the operation between our logarithms, ln is just base e, is addition. Kapag addition siya, I can make them products. Applying rules of logarithm, this becomes ln of lahat ng addition naging multiplication. Nasa loob na sila, this becomes ln of v squared times m squared plus 1 times c is equal to negative 2 arctan of m pa rin dito sa ating right side. Then after that process, kung mapansin natin, yung given natin is in terms of x and y. Pero nasa v, nasa m pa rin tayo. So kailangan natin siyang ibalik. So since dun sa ating homogeneous equation, nilet natin si u is equal to mv, yung m natin, this is equal to u over v. So lahat ng m, papalta natin ng u over v. So, etong part na to, tsaka etong part na to, so this will become ln of v squared, u squared all over v squared, kasi naka-square siya, plus 1 times c is equal to negative 2 arctan of u all over v. Continuing on, so ang denominator is v squared, 1 lang naman to, so I can make it u squared plus v squared all over v squared, kasi etong part na to, this is still equal to 1. Ang kagandahan doon, the operation is multiplication, kaya etong part na to, I can divide. So, ang natira ay si ln of u squared plus v squared times c is equal to negative 2 arctan of u all over v. Then, si u at si v naman ang galawin natin. So, kanina, dun sa linear equation natin, this 1 and 3, eto yung h at k natin. Nilet natin siya as x is equal to u plus 1, u plus h, y is equal to v plus k. Para maibalik natin yung u at v natin in terms of x and y, lipat lang natin sa kabila si 1 tsaka si 3, Ang u natin is equal to x minus 1. Ang v natin is equal to y minus 3. Then, substitute natin tong value na to. So, this becomes yung u natin ay naging x minus 1. ln of x minus 1 squared plus yung v natin, this becomes y minus 3 squared times c is equal to negative arctan u over v. Ang u natin ay x minus 1 all over v natin na y minus 3. This is our simplified final answer. Ito yung solution ng ating differential equation.